Hi everyone, welcome to Spark Kids Online. I'm Teacher Janice and I'll be your host for today. But I'm not the only teacher hosting, so come on out! Hi kids, it's me, I'm Teacher David and I'll be your other host for today. Well, if you're new here and it's your first time seeing us, Hello again! You can click on the link in the description below so you can find out a bit more about our church. Hey, Teacher Janice, how are you doing? Hi, Teacher David. Yeah, well, I've been doing pretty well. I've been cleaning my room a lot and I also found a lot of books, so I've been reading a lot as well. But, I heard some bad news a few days ago. There's no more bubble tea! <laughs> Calm down, DJ Janice. It's, it's not the end of the world. Uh, let me introduce you a new drink that you can drink. Look! Hmm? Plain water. Just the way God created it for us to drink. Here, why don't you try some? Huh, I guess I can drink some plain water. So kids, remember to drink your water and stay healthy. While teacher Janice is drinking her water, let me tell you what we're going to be doing after this. We're going to have a time of praise and worship, so let's prepare our bodies, our minds and our hearts to worship God. Hey, teacher Janice, how's the water? Mm -hmm. That was pretty good actually. So, shall we now start with an opening prayer? So, let's put our hands together, close our eyes and bow our heads. Dear God, thank you for this time as we all come together in your name. Please bless the lesson ahead and be with us as we learn more about you and the armor of God. I pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Are you ready, kids, for praise and worship? Let's go. Let's go.
And now it's time for Wiser Words with Clement, the part of the service where Clement comes out and says some wise words. Hi kids, it's teacher Clement here, helping you to refresh your memory on what you have learned during the past few weeks. Hmm, anyone remember what we have learned during the past few weeks? Anybody remember? Anyone? Nobody? Anyone here? I found a friend that I'm able to talk about the lesson. See kids, it's important to have a friend to be able to share about what you have learned. In that way, both of you will be able to learn something. Hello! I'm the Chief Junior Assistant Deputy Marshal of Fire Prevention, Education, and Curriculum Development and Dissemination, Fireman Frank. Hi, Fireman Frank. I'm Clement. What do you do, Fireman Frank? Uh, I'm a fireman. Oh, yeah. So, Clement, what was that lesson all about last week? Hmm, last week we learned that the enemy shoot fiery darts at us, and then... What? Fire? Do you know that fire is very dangerous? Are you guys playing with fire? Is that why you call yourselves the Spark Kids? I'm gonna have to report this. This is not safe. Wait, you got it all wrong. You see, the Bible says that our enemy Satan throws fiery darts at us, but they're not really fiery darts. That's just the way the Bible describes the lies that Satan speaks to us. Oh, so that's what you mean. How can I be protected from these fires? Do I need a fire extinguisher, a fire helmet, a fire hose, or a fireproof jacket? Nope, we use the shield of faith. You see, when we choose to put our faith in what God says, rather than the lies we hear from Satan, the Bible calls that using our shield of faith. That's fantastic, Clement! We firefighters love protective equipment. Now if you excuse me, I'm gonna go tell my friends how they can be protected from these fires. Bye bye man. Kids, remember last week we made the shield of faith? Here's some pictures of what your friends have made. This week, we are going to learn about something very important. Sometimes I forgot to wear it and then my pants become very loose. It's my belt! Oh sorry, it's not this belt. It's actually the belt of truth. And our memory verse today is John chapter 14 verse 6. Jesus answered, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Let's move on to lesson now. Are you ready to learn about this belt of truth? And why do you need it? Teacher Sean, take it over. Thank you, Teacher Clement. Hello, kids. I'm Teacher Sean. So far, you've learned about the shield of faith, the breastplate of righteousness, and the helmet of salvation. And now we come to the belt of truth. Ta-da! That's a lot of belts. Well, did you know that the belt of truth was actually the very first item that God tells us to wear. You might be asking me, why did God specifically mention a belt in this armor? Well, what is the use of a belt anyway? Isn't the belt like a, a decoration that you put around your waist, like a cowboy? Isn't it used to signify just how dangerous you are in martial arts? Whatcha? Or isn't it to show off just like this huge wrestler. The, no, John Cena, no. Well, these belts are for those things. But God's spiritual belt of truth is for a far more important purpose. You know, our evil enemy, the devil, he is always against God. And he is constantly finding ways to deceive us such that we would live in an ungodly manner. 
this enemy attacks us with fiery darts, you know, that causes us to say unkind words to people, to take stuff that does not belong to us, to think of ungodly things, tell lies, and yes, sometimes even believe in lies. God in His holiness does not like lies, and He has given us His full armor to defend ourselves from deception. He has instructed us to be wise, to differentiate between what is false and what is true. The Apostle Paul explained it this way in the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 14. If you have your Bible with you, you can take it out now. And it says here, To stand firm with the belt of truth buckled around your waist. Wow. Well, in the days of the Apostle Paul, Roman soldiers are a common sight, and he often makes references to God's word in ways that the common people could understand. Just take a look at the Roman soldier's belt. You will notice that the belt is an important part of his armor, which keeps everything in place. The belt keeps his clothes tight under the breastplate. The belt secures the breastplate. The belt protects the lower part of his body. And the belt holds the sheath for his sword. That's a lot of things. So, Kids, can you imagine what happens if the Roman soldier did not buckle up his belt and he starts to run into battle with all of his loose gear? <laughs> I think everything will just fall apart and he wouldn't be of any use at all. Hmm, just think about that. It's the same thing when you are fighting against deception or lies without truth to protect you. Without the belt of truth, the rest of your armor, like the breastplate or the sword, well, it becomes useless. Let's put it this way. Wouldn't you want to know if your brother or sister is telling you the truth? Wouldn't you want to know whether what you see in the news is real or fake? And wouldn't you want to know the truth about God, what He is like, and wouldn't you want to know the truth about what God thinks of you? Yes, of course. So God, being wise, has plenty to say about truth. Number one, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. The world out there will tell you all kinds of lies about God. And because God cares that you would know the truth concerning Himself, guess what? He gave you Jesus. When you receive Jesus into your life and you follow Him daily in your faith, you can live a life that pleases God. Isn't that fantastic, kids? Number two, God's truth holds your life together to stand firm against the devil's deception. God has also given you truth in the Bible. Ta-da! When God tells you to wear the belt of truth, He is basically telling you to regularly dig deep, deep, down, down, dig deep down for God's word in the Bible, which will help you to stand firm against the devil's deception. You know the song, right? Dig deep, deep, and down, down, and deep down in my heart. That's right. With God's truth at the center, number three, you will be free from the enemy's lies. Having Jesus as your truth is really important in ensuring that you are not easily deceived. By buckling up with the belt of truth, that is, by having Jesus in your heart as Lord and Savior, you will be keeping your defenses in the right place. Just in the right place, right? When you are accused of being unrighteous, you defend by declaring the truth that come, that your righteousness comes from Jesus and that it cannot be taken away. When you are being deceived that God doesn't care about you, you defend by surrounding yourself with the truth 
that God loves you dearly through His Son, Jesus. So kids, as you can see, the belt of truth is truly an important part of God's full armor to hold everything together and also to defend ourselves against the devil's lies. How can you get this awesome belt of truth? All you need to do is ask Jesus to come into your life, to receive Jesus into your heart, and follow his instruction every day by reading your Bible. Amen! And now, Teacher Denton has got an interesting activity for all of us. Let's see what he's doing. Hey everyone! Teacher Denton here. What a great lesson by Teacher Sean. Excuse me, my director is writing a message for me. You're still using your puppet voice. Oh, sorry about that, kids. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. What a great lesson by Teacher Sean. And to help you remember, you're going to get a chance to make your own belt of truth. And then just like last week, we're going to send a link to your parents where they can upload a picture of you wearing your belt. So are you ready to see the belt? This is the belt that me and my son made. We decorated it with police vehicles and lots of other scribbles over here. And now I'm going to teach you to make your belt. You're going to need glue and scissors something to color with, two pieces of paper, I use one white and one colored piece of paper for the belt buckle, but you can use whatever you want. And then you need something oval to trace to make a nice belt buckle. So you're going to trace the oval, cut out the belt buckle, write belt of truth on it and you're also going to fold one piece of paper in half cut it using your scissors right down the middle and that's going to give you the two parts of the belt which then you can decorate however you want you glue them to your belt buckle and then this is the tricky part you need your parents' help for this. Parents, you're going to wrap the belt around their waist. Find the spot, the perfect spot where these meet. You're going to cut a little slit in the top of one side, the bottom of one side, so that they fit together just like that, and your child can proudly wear their belt of truth. Remember to take a picture of them and upload it on the link that we're gonna to send to you. Now back over to you, Teacher Janice and Teacher David. Thank you, Teacher Denton, for teaching us how to make that amazing craft. Kids, well, I hope you know more about the Belt of Truth now. So when we have God's truth in the center, we'll be freed from the enemy's life. That's right. So now it's time to close in prayer. So again, put your hands together, close your eyes, and bow your heads. Dear God, Thank you that you are the truth that defends us from the lies of the devil. We pray that you will remind us to trust in you when we are attacked. Thank you that you will never change, even when the things around us are uncertain. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, we will see you next week. But in the meantime, don't forget to do your worksheets and drink lots of water. Bye! Bye.